Hello, welcome to how to play Amazon Solitaire, a game for one player. Now when I think of Amazon, uh, before this guy started selling books and these vans started showing up at your house, I thought of the Amazon simply as that river, and mostly because of kids' TV shows like Legend of the Hidden Temple. Uh, we were supposed to think of uh, the Amazon in one specific way. Hey, what do you know, the Ace of Spades made a cameo in this game. Uh, yeah, you're supposed to think about the Amazon, uh, you're supposed to care about it, there was all sorts of propaganda aimed at children of the 1990s in the United States to really care about the Amazon, and we were supposed to mainly go after uh, logging in the Amazon. That was a big issue at the time, so games like this tried to make us understand it. And really, this game was just a copycat of the Oregon Trail, but instead of going on land, you would go across the Amazon River, and then you'd get propagandized by all these uh, characters uh played by actors and supposedly uh everybody on the amazon uh not only spoke uh english uh really well they, they also spoke portuguese which from my understanding some of those uh tribes uh way west in brazil don't even speak portuguese and uh from what it looks like i think i'm going to need to uh I'm going to definitely need my passport because i'm thinking we're going to be leaving brazil by the end of this trip uh, yeah we might be leaving brazil so yeah let's get our passports Anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, the propaganda efforts were mainly were aimed uh, through te television shows like Captain Planet, and even as a child it got really obvious that this stuff was just tugging at your heartstrings enough that uh, you really stopped caring, and for one part of it, I actually liked the Captain Pollution rude for him to win, because uh, this cartoon was a little over the top, even children understood it. And so yeah, you're supposed to care about logging in the Amazon, and I guess, uh, they would make you think that the Amazon rainforest was going to disappear if we kept this up, but all we really know about, knew about Brazil was uh, some of their rough neighborhoods, uh, some of their prison riots. Uh, I didn't want to put pictures of Carnival in here because I didn't want to get in trouble. And movies like this uh, that mainly hit the United States. But other than that, uh, our only other experience were with Brazilian steakhouses that are littered throughout the United States. If you have a major airport in your major city, you probably have one of these places. So we just really did not know much about Brazil or care about it. And I guess some of the efforts would work because you look at this logo here and you start to assume, well, maybe they might have a point about the Amazon. Maybe there's just not that much forest left in it to go. Maybe uh, logging will eventually just destroy the entire environment there. and We, we better put some international pressure on Brazil to stop it or whatever, but then you start looking at a real map and you're like, well, okay, that's like caring about uh, logging in the state of Oregon. I'm pretty sure the Brazilians could manage it by themselves. And You know, parts of northern Brazil are actually closer to Canada than they are to the rest of the country, which is crazy to think about. And so there's just not a lot of Brazilian stuff in the news until fairly recently when this guy copied that guy's homework and, well, the situation just got way too obvious that virtually the same thing was going on and nothing really resolved from it, so you start to wonder why in the world they did it. But anyways, he took off northwest, because it is northwest to him, to Orlando, whereas the only other place in the United States I've ever actually seen Brazilian stuff besides maybe Miami, and he immediately hopped onto KFC because it's finger-licking good and he couldn't get enough of it. So that's basically all that we really know about Brazil and the United States. And if putting pineapples on pizza is a real crime, the real issue that we should put external pressure on Brazil is their pizza, their idea of pizza. It's bizarre. Have you seen it? It's crazy. You ought to look it up sometime. Personally, I want to try it because I don't really consider food crimes to be international issues that need to be discussed. And yes, yes, I'm sorry. I'll just go ahead and get on with the game. So welcome to How to Play Amazon Solitaire. You'll need a single deck of cards to get rid of the jokers. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be removing any card that's greater than the value of seven. So all face cards will go away, all tens will go away, all nines will go away, and all eights will go away. We should have ace through seven of each suit. And once we have that, we're ready to play the game. So just eliminate those cards from your deck, including your jokers. The jokers are not involved. These cards will not be involved. So just ace through seven in the four suits and put those somewhere else because we're just not going to be using them. Then give it a good shuffle. And uh, this game is uh, pretty much guaranteed to win unless you just forget how to play it or forget how to count uh, because you have three redeals that you'll be able to do. So just deal four cards out. If you manage to find an ace or any other card that can be stacked on top of the other that's in sequential order, go ahead and place it. Then just place the four remaining cards in the deck right on top of the others. If you can't play anything, uh, just skip it and keep moving. Because it doesn't matter, you have three uh, redeals to get this done in. 
and vast majority of the time, just like your Amazon deliveries, they're going to arrive at your door. You're going to win this game. Okay, so we don't have anything else, so we'll go ahead and take up all the cards and shuffle and uh, do a redeal of some sort. And uh, looks like we're doing pretty good so far. Do we have anything else? I don't think we do. So we'll just keep uh, putting everything on that can legally play on because we're going up in sequential order on suit. Pretty simple game, not a whole lot to think about. In fact, it's really, I'm not even sure why this is a game, but it was included in the 250 uh, plus Solitaires app, so I said, eh, I might as well cover this. All right, so now we see that three's there, the six is there. We will have the four, five, and the five and six and seven, so the spade suit is complete. Diamond suit's complete. All the suits are complete. We won. Yay! And so if you'd actually like to play some cards in public with strangers, otherwise known as friends you haven't yet met, come to our subreddit card game meetups. Post your city. Post what public place you want to do this at and what games you're looking to play. Do click under the show more in the description to find rules, uh, other resources, including other video channels I enjoy, and a link to a Discord channel where we talk about card games all day, every day. It's a fun place where you can meet new friends and learn about all sorts of different card games, domino and dice games. Do call up your friends and let them know that you're looking to play some cards. They might say yes, they might say no, but you never know unless you call. Sometimes you need to be the one to set things up, so give them a call. Do like, subscribe, and share these videos with other people you know are interested in card games, and do check out the current poll under our community tab, and we'll see you next video.